Okay. Hello there, this is Kendo Nagasaki, Peter Thornley, the man behind the mask, and I am watching Cheap Shot Entertainment this afternoon and, and this morning and tonight. Hope you all join me. Bye! Promotional consideration paid for by the following. <laughs> This is awesome! Hello and welcome Cheap Shot Nation to another retro review that is retro with a WR. WR, because we're reviewing wrestling. 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 Yeah. wrestling. And slightly different to my normal uh, podcast that I do on my own, I've also got some wrestling friends with me today. Ooh, wrestling friends! Wrestling friends! Wrestling friends. Wrestling friends. <laughs> so I'm going to go round to my left, and I'm going to introduce Connor. Hello, oh. hey, yeah. He has been yeah, on God. the YouTube channel before. Haven't yeah, he? I have. Yeah, doing some reviews. Uh, we've got Muzzy. Yeet. Say hello, Muz. Hi guys. What's delay up? With, uh... Oh, we've got a delay. Just like Muzzy in real life, there's a bit yeah. of a delay to uh, <laughs> the information. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, yeah. yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. takes I'm life. On the video call at the <laughs> minute. Over, so. yeah. I'm a bit delayed. Yeah. And uh, last but not least, wearing his such good shizzle t-shirt. Yep, you can't see it. It's but Eddie I'm Cross. It. Hello, everyone. Hello to the millions. Come on, guys. Of millions. Come on, Come on guys. guys. Hello Come to on the millions guys. and millions tuning in. Purely down to the fact that I'm on this episode. I'm going to lose subscribers, aren't I? No, you're going to gain. <laughs> you're going to gain quite a few, and I'm looking forward to every second of it. Anyway, no, 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 you're gain topic of today's podcast. On yeah, retro yeah. reviews is SummerSlam 2004. So we're going through the year 2004, approximately 20 years ago to Jeez. when this will be released. Approximately 12 months before the biggest birth in the history of births. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie Cross. <it's> just... <laughs> yes, yeah, so uh, Eddie Cross wasn't even a thought. No, I was a thought. I was a thought. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Negotiations had started. There was a sit down. What was a thought? <laughs> sit down discussion. What the frigging damn ball sack of your mum's face? I don't apologise. I love you, all right? Great banter. Uh. <laughs> oh, we'll get back on the podcast. No, oh, my God. So Shall we make a baby? No, we stopped. So there's a, there's a sit down this, discussion. This, this took. <laughs> And it was the 17th edition of SummerSlam. It was a joint pay-per-view <laughs> with Raw and SmackDown because we was in heavily into the brand split at the time. Oh, not that um, one of many. Attended oh, oh, yeah. by 17,460 fans. Nice. Um, so it did take place in Canada, uh, in Toronto, Canada, Ooh. at the Air Canada Centre. Bizarro <laughs> land, as I kept Bizarro saying. Bizarro land. Is that... What paper was just in Canada? Uh, Money in the bank. Money in the bank. Money in the bank. Yeah, it might be like a different name of the stadium. Possibly. Uh, uh, the uh, theme song officially was "Summertime Blues." I've just read that. Yeah, oh. uh, by Rush. Oh, that's a nice song. And too. the arena appears in the following games: SmackDown versus Raw 2006. Oh, uh, yeah. I was here for that. <laughs> so you have <laughs> seen the arena. I was one. I was one twiddling away on that whatever Game Boy. No, not a Game Boy. Game Boy. Not a Game Boy. Really PS. Like, PS. Oh, PS something. PS2. Yeah, Day of Reckoning two. two. An original Xbox. And uh, WrestleMania original 20, Xbox? Uh, Day of Reckoning, I think was original Xbox. GameCube. Ooh. GameCube. Oh. And WrestleMania 21 was the original Xbox. Oh. Before they amalgamated and made everyone SmackDown versus Raw. I like SmackDown versus Raw. Yeah. Yeah. I've never played SmackDown versus Raw. I feel. Any of them. Yeah. Well, I don't know. We've got that. We had that one that I bought over. But... Yes. Which we've still got to play, which we will do. We will do. And we'll we'll review record that as well. That would yeah. be really Definitely. Cool. Um, so, <laughs> just before we get on to the main part of the pay per view, um, we had Sunday Night Heat, which was, as I explained to Eddie Cross earlier, yep. the original 
pre-show yes. where you actually got a match on the pre-show. And we used to get matches up until a year ago. And, and then they just decided, no. And now, 20 years later, the yeah. SummerSlam pre-show is as long as this paper. It's as long as Monday Night Raw. A three <laughs> hour, why do you need a three-hour pre-show? As Makes long as... No uh, probably to give people long some tea time. As the, uh, yeah, as long as SummerSlam 2004 it was. So, uh, yeah. Oh, so, oh, Sunday Night oh, Heat. Oh, my God. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I've been delivered, hand-delivered from the good people at um, Fort Manor. Thought, oh. Fort Manor. <laughs> Fort the best Man. and most exquisite <laughs> flatbread slash pizza. I mean, first with flavour. It's almost as good as SummerSlam 2004. Yes. And we'll continue on that. Exactly. Apart, from, apart from that main event that no one talks about. Well, <laughs> whilst he took a wiggle. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> I wonder what it is. It is. It is. It is. It is. Um, oh, my God. So, yeah. <laughs> Sunday Night Heat. The match on Sunday Night Heat was Rob Van Dam versus Rene Dupree, which you cannot find on the network. Hashtag 999. Almost, it's, it's leaving now, isn't it? Network's no more soon. Is it? I yeah, about 20 minutes. Well, I thought they were going to keep the network. The... No, nah, pa- apparently they're on about sacking it all off together, I apparently. I wonder how much that's going to pay five. Nine, nine, eight a month, brother. <laughs> Everything's going to Netflix yeah. in 2020. Yeah. Streaming yeah. services are available, by the way. Uh, legal, yeah. legal, of course. Yeah. yeah. Legal, yes. Yeah. No, not day, not yeah. day. It's going to Netflix <laughs> next year. Well, I thought we were going to keep the network. Can I just say, I think it's a real shame that RVD was on the pre-show. Yes. Yeah. And Rene Dupree. No. No. Is, is Rene Dupree yeah. related to uh, Max and Maxine Dupree, by chance? This is, my question. <laughs> this is a question that needs to be answered. Possibly. Especially he for was, a young was boy French, like me. French living in Canada and now he's in uh, Burton. Ah. Huh? Yeah, he no. doesn't live far oh. away. Really? That's think a, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm pretty sure it's Burton. Come on. Imagine bumping into him in the middle of Burton. Try and book him. <laughs> imagine, imagine that, the headline. Rene Dupree versus Eddie Cross. You know. Yeah, the, that would probably... In a, in a, pole, in a French win. The French, <laughs> French, to- oh yeah. the winner, the winner, the winner that makes the best French toast of all time. <laughs> we had Sunday Night Heat which was a weekly oh, episodic okay. television programme, usually filmed before a pay-per-view or before Raw. Is it a bit like, something like that? Main, what main event is now? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. they had Velocity for SmackDown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is on the network. Yes, it is. Heat's not. Yeah. Heat's not. No, I, I couldn't find it. Because I was going to wa- start watching the pre-shows as well. But um, Yeah. Uh, but it was Rob Van Damme versus Rene Dupree. And Rob Van Dam would come out victorious with this one. Um, about a couple, it's a couple of years before his big, big running in the re-established yeah. CW. Yeah, I like Rob when, Van Dam when they had uh, one um, night stand. Shame I've never got to probably yeah. see Rob Van Dam at speak. I, I want to say this though: I, saw, I, I felt like Rob Van Dam was very underrated back then. Oh yeah, like, absolutely. I think he's 100%. one of the most underrated of all time. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I just felt like he could—he yeah. should have got the push that he deserved because obviously people were very like, like amazed on what he did in the ring, and obviously with his acrobatics and obviously his martial arts as well that he obviously had that background. Hmm. I think he ushered in a new wave of, from what I've seen, ushered in a new wave of, of stoners. Of... <laughs> yeah. 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 Bro. Yeah. yeah, bro, for twenty, bro. No, bro. I think he, uh, I think his style. Is ushered in, especially with a lot of the newer talent coming through now, like NXT and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Very Big much fun. inspired by Rob Van Damme. And, and Jeff Hardy. And Jeff yeah, Hardy. Yeah. That Javon oh, Evans Jeff Hardy, said man. that is two Hardy. biggest inspirations. So one's very mashed and the other one's still pretty much going, isn't he? Which one's mashed? Well, Jeff hmm. Hardy's mashed, isn't he? I'd he's say oh, he's kind of mashed. I just keep seeing him well, sing. He's, he's, he's personally mashed, I keep he? seeing him All sing about time. Joe Hendry in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> I believe in John Hendry. Yeah. He's got a good voice, but I don't know, he's just been out of it. <laughs> he got clap? he got a clap. Yeah. he got a clap. He's got the clap. I've got, I've got the clap, boys. I just can't stop clapping. <laughs> Let me say, you won the RVD match. RVD won the RVD and oh. Rene Dupree match. Um, oh, fact. That's good. We just found out. Rene Dupree lives in Burton. I believe so. I could be wrong. Burton. Um, but I have seen him um, wrestle a couple of times. 
Uh, was he uh, in... Hope Wrestling before that? Yeah, it looks very different now. Yes. I was going to say, was he part of the tag team one time? Ready to yeah, go. Yeah, um, Rob Conway. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so, 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 Sylvain so, so, Ranier. Yeah. And Rob Conway. And Rob Conway. It, it, was it like, I mean, it was, I, yeah, I think it was like um, I don't know if it, I, I, could, I could be wrong. I don't know. It's been this a long time, but I think it was like a like it might be like a French tag team or something like that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. La Resistance, mate. La Resistance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is where Muzzy, This is where we call him a little bit slow because he uh, he doesn't seem to pick up on the obvious things in life. But you know, <laughs> we move on. I mean, um, I mean, well, 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 I mean, I am. If it was up to Muzzy, they'd be called the Resistance. <laughs> La. <laughs> La. La Resistance. Cheeky. <laughs> okay, it's not over yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of uh, La Resistance, we would see them uh, later on in the pay-per-view, in fact. But we go into the first match, which is a six-man tag match between the Dudley boys, Bubba Ray and Devon, newly joined by Spike as well. Wow. He's the leader. Who is the leader of the Dudley <laughs> Boys at this was. point? Mate, it's by Dudley. Uh, very different look for him. Yeah, well. he had the beard. He had really short, yeah, hair. very short, no, scraggly topless. hair. Topless, and he was also the ECW Cruiserweight Cruiser champion. champion. I've, never, I've never seen, <laughs> I've never seen that Dudley hit a move. The only videos I see of him is when he gets to. Oh, he hit a couple oh, of moves in this. Hits moves in this one, mate. He does oh, really well in this one. <clears throat> um, but I was so engrossed in it, I just put the finish of the match on this one. The fact that Spike Dudley, though, the amount of crazy spots he did as well, it's mad, like what he did. Yeah, it is. And um, so, uh, yeah, and they're going against um, Rey Mysterio Booyah. and the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, the WWE Tag Team Champions, Paul <laughs> London and Billy Kidman. Wow. What a team. What a team. When I was younger, I thought that Paul London was English because his surname was London. London. <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing. Like, his name is Paul. From wrestling. Like conspiracies that we all believe. I mean, I'm sure at some point everyone thought that The Undertaker and Kane were actual brothers. Brothers, yeah. Same with Edge. Yeah, yeah, I still believe in man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. A bit like Devon and uh, Bubba Ray. Yeah, they're actual brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dudley, though. Yeah. Big, big, big Papa Dudley. Especially your little, little brother, Spy Dudley. Dudley. <laughs> um, so yeah, the uh, six six man tag. Obviously, there's a storyline here between Rey Mysterio and Spike. Oh, okay. Uh, with Spike using his brothers to uh, pick up the cruiserweight championship from Rey Mysterio, and then obviously the Dudley Boys, fresh off the back of the uh, what was it the Concrete Crypt match. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. The concrete crypt match. Oh, very poor oh. Oh. I think they renamed it the Live Free or Die Hard um, match or something like oh, that's that. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, the concrete crypt match, <laughs> fresh off that against The Undertaker. <clears throat> they were team with their brother, help him gain the championship, the Cruiserweight Championship, and obviously thereafter the WWE Tag Team Championship. From Paul London and Billy Kidman again. Fine. What a team! The cruiserweight title thing is mad because, like, you look at it back in the day. I mean, yeah, like swaggle. It was mm. obviously Spike. Oh, dragon. But, yeah. yeah, but then you look at how when they, when they bought it back, like when they did the wow. two hundred five live and fully invested in the cruiserweight classic and stuff. Yeah, it was really. It was stuff. so good. Wasn't like it? it was so good. It was so uh, good. And they really invested. I in liked it. Him. And like some of the matches on two hundred five, just fantastic. Yeah. I about to say like after Raw, like uh, I think I think there was one point during Raw, or maybe after they did some like two they did two two oh five live show, and I remember how how well um, Neville, who is now who is now known as Pack in AEW, who who had this heel persona with that uh, with that cruiserweight championship back then. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Always, the, when they care about the cruiserweight division, it's actually quite. It's rough. actually good, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> you can even say that. About I felt like they should that. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Gregory Howells is very. I mean, yeah. This is the time where Jamie Noble was heavily involved in the cruiserweight championship. Kidman, Kidman. oh yeah, um, like Tajiri, Tajiri got Mysterio, Spike. Yeah, it was it was stacked. Yeah, yeah, Terry was there. Chavo Guerrero or something. Running around, he's probably in TNA. Terry, I think. Terry. 
Ah, uh, Terry. Your Tearing best up. Tearing up. My best friend, Rhino. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, yeah, you met Rhino, yeah. My free pick. The Dudley win that one, don't they? Uh, yes, it would be a victory for the Dudley boys Ooh. in this one. Uh, a bit chaotic, obviously. It's a six-grand tag. Uh, referee does lose control. No. Uh, we never, we never see that in six months. <laughs> no, absolutely not. I've never seen that ever. Um, but there were some really big spots here. Like right? Spike mm. Dudley jumped off top rope um, into a that? double double foot stomp. Yeah, didn't he? Gras, Gras, but I mean, he he doesn't fall when he hits it. He st- yeah, oh my all god, of it. yeah, he stomps and then jumps off. Yeah, that's awful. Well, in a good way. Well, yeah, he must have hit it well because otherwise, he's not hit a slice spread as well. Yeah, slice spread. Um, call that the Eva Marie special. Yeah, Dudley <laughs> Dog. I think, it's called, it? I think so. The 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 Dudley Dog. Uh, but it would be um, his like as the referee's distracted by lots of things going on. Yeah. Um, the Dudley Boys, Devon and Bubba Ray, would hit the three D. Oh, uh, what a for, move. Bike to crawl in and pick up the victory. Oh, Kidman. Nice. Um, I didn't write down who he pinned. I want to say Kidman. Yeah. It's like a wild guess, yeah. Yeah. Keeps uh, Mysterio yeah, relatively, relatively uh, uh, well thought of, doesn't it? That. Um, yeah. But, but yeah, absolutely brilliant match. Um, oh, agreed. Eddie Cross, if you ever go back and watch this paper, yeah, that so, is definitely one. So, uh, me, a bit of backstory to this. I was not aware, <laughs> I'm making this right, though. I was not aware that we were meant to watch this pay-per-view prior to reviewing it. And you might think, what a stupid thing to say, Mr. Eddie. But no, I uh, truly believed that we were going to watch this pay-per-view. Stupidly thought, I'm going to sit here for three hours and review a live pay-per-view or like a pre- pre-recorded pre pay-per-view. But no, it wasn't to be. So I've not watched this pay-per-view. Um, I didn't make it explicitly clear in the chat. Yeah, but I, I'm just dumb. <laughs> I'm just a stupid boy. Um, so you're, you're watch the paper. Yeah, you're, you're a bit slow. Uh, like, uh, I should stop calling myself Muzzy because I'm a bit. It was slow. too busy bit... thinking of his of his of chips my pizza. and his pizza. Uh, yeah, it was just it was too much. Yeah. So yeah, next yeah, time I will watch the paper. <laughs> um, uh, we we are going to do some more different. Yeah, uh, and I've said a, well, a so. suggestion. Yeah, mom. that we we pick a pay per view from our birth years, uh, obviously. For Luke, that'd be uh, 1952. But um, we'll <laughs> uh, be the territories, brother. <laughs> I'm oh, it would be the territories. You know what? Right. No, 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 no. You know what? I was watching um, on the network just to oh, steer off traffic. No, no, no. It's actually genuinely good. I can't remember what match it was, but it was WCW house shows. Yeah, from, from 1986. Yeah. I was like, this is fantastic. Yeah, it's so this great is amazing. Stuff, mate. Like, great. I can't remember what the match was, but I was like, this is just. I, I was watching, what was I watching? Like Clash of Champions or something. And the, the stadium was dead simple. It was just those gold gold tinsel things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it looks so cool. Mm. looks yeah. so cool. Um, but the, the quality of the wrestling on this show is so good as well. Definitely one to, one to watch if you're picking up different ideas. If you're bored of watching the same old stuff nowadays at AEW, go uh, to the oh. network. Um, or on <laughs> yeah. Netflix. But the only yeah, time I would ever watch an AEW if there's like an, if there's a good match on or like a good card, which is that's a very rare occasion. <laughs> I mean, I, I would go to All In, but I'm uh, currently occupied as I am, uh, unlike Muzzy, making the towns. I am attending the 25th of August at the M Wrestling. So wow, you're firing shots. At like me. the, uh, I think his new nickname's the uh, the dropout, um, Mr. Muzzy. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> <for> work. <laughs> uh, Mr. Well, uh, Mr. I'm, I'm sorry, I remember I had work that I've been broken on for. So... Muzzy. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I. Uh, I am in a different part. I'm in the opposite. I'm on the opposite side of the country, actually. Mister Every Little Helps, Muzzy. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, yeah. The reason why I won't be attending on the 25th of August because uh, I'm actually at work earning money. Oh. But as much okay. as I, as much as still going to come up I, and mate, test I, you. To be honest with you, I, I'd rather wrestle and get battered in a ring than work work like a six hour yeah. shift. Someday, so. get, get, getting battered in the ring is always good, isn't it? For oh, example, mate, I'm I'm <laughs> I, yes. I'm <laughs> Actually, I want to go. Um, I want to go back to that. Uh, obviously, what you said about uh, reviewing like uh, pay per views from the years that were born. I was born in '99, so. And obviously Again, probably... a good year, but keep it yeah. for a different podcast, Moz. Yeah, we don't want to give them too much. We've got to move on. I'm not going to say much on it, but obviously, yeah, 99 was a good year as well for some pay-per-views. But yeah, anyway, moving on, we're back to topic in hand. 
Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. We go on to, to our first Raw match of the evening. Oh, okay. And... If I remember correctly, this is one I was joking about earlier. Yeah, <laughs> it is a death till death do us part match. Oh, um, one of the strangest stipulations of all time. Where know, the stranger. winner marries Lita. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? When you think about it, back in them days, <laughs> what a prize. <laughs> It's just, it's just Who is pregnant? Mad, it's just a mad stipulation. Ed should have been in this match as well. Yeah, she, yeah, she, she is. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Lita, ladder match. In storyline, <laughs> story, story <laughs> she is pregnant with Kane's child. <laughs> Which then leads to <laughs> what an amazing <laughs> Which then leads to it wasn't oh, my God. fault. Really? Oh my yeah. God. Yes, it does. This is after yeah. This. Oh. yeah, yeah, it does. Leads to Snitsky. Yeah. What a time to be alive, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Archie, what Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Archie just, just literally just... Archie could have been the baby. Well, the child out of nowhere. What's the matter? That explains quite a bit. Um... <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> um, right, so... Oh, God. It was a very hard hit match. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, and Hardy <laughs> comes at Kane like full on in this match. With great balls of fire. With great balls of fire. That was a pay-per-view that happened. Yes, it was. <laughs> that I think true, that's yeah. one we should review, actually. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> I really don't want to. I really don't want to. Can we just remember, that's Kurt Hawkins versus Keith Slater made it onto the main card of that show. And it was, inter- <laughs> and it was interrupted by the ambulance attack. Roman, <laughs> Roman and Braun. So I have been a match, and then you kept cutting to the back. So these two poor guys, <laughs> feel like Muzzy, two poor ginger men, <laughs> just <laughs> scrapping it out in the middle. And um, so, yeah. About, but, and he dances. The, the winner gets to marry Lita in this match. So Matt Hardy comes out. he thinks think that Kane, being the bigger of the two, would be straight on this, be chucking him around and doing However. all sorts of stuff. But Matt It'll Hardy, can... around and show. yeah, it will be <laughs> yeah. um, because uh, I'll get to the get to the uh, winner of the match in a minute. <laughs> but uh, Matt Hardy is he's got a game plan. He goes straight at it and um, takes it. Really takes it to Kane, and Kane's like he's unrecognizable really in terms of his offense in this match. If yeah. you have a curveball this match, what if it ended in a double count out? They're both getting to marry Lita. Would it be a, would it be a <laughs> marriage? This is what these are the, the marriage questions that I need. Mean, you know, no, well, Lita gets to pick any man in the audience. That would happen. The the comment uh, section will be left edge. open on this paper yeah, on, yeah. This, on this podcast. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if you say. have any ideas of what would happen if it was a double count out, I just need questions. Well, if I, I know need... Vince McMahon of 2023, just... someone would have been shot on. Oh my! Oh my God. <laughs> I just need to be honest. I need I need answers for my questions. Right, so winner of this match, winner of the match, was Kane. Oh, that's gotta be Kane. It was Kane. Uh, Lita tried to get involved with chucking in the ring bell, and uh, that would, yeah, that would uh, be the distraction for the referee. Uh, Whilst uh, Kane was up on top, I think Matt Hardy was going for a super. Um, super duper flex. Yeah, what's it? Twist of fate from the oh top. Oh my god! Super, super super twist of fate because you you got to pull out. You got to get the big moves in here, yeah. haven't you? It's big guy, big yeah, big stakes. I mean, yeah, big stakes. You, you know, you, 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 Lita's hand in marriage. Connor's <laughs> profusely sweating. But yes, he is. He wishes he was in this movie. Lisa. I want to say this. Yeah. I want to say this with the Lita. Yeah, like, there were back in that time, there'll be a lot of Lita fanboys being like, "It should have been me." Muzzy, I, yeah. think that, I think that was five-year-old you, mate. To be honest, uh, actually, no, I was in, I was more into Kelly Kelly at that point. But, oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, Muzzy yeah. back in the day. Mummy, why does that lady with red hair have melons on his chest? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, to be fair, yeah. <laughs> Mummy, what is that? <laughs> um, but Kane would counter this with a super choke slam. Oh, what is that? Uh, is yeah. that like a super finisher bit? Remember? Yes, it is. It's like they hit both the L1 and the R1 buttons at the same time. That is now R2 and X. No. Is it? <laughs> no. Whatever. LT, LT and RT on Xbox. Or LBRB mm-hmm. or however you want to do um, so if, you're, if you're a real gamer, it's on the PlayStation, mate. So. <laughs> 
Unless, unless you get unless you get beaten by me with England on FIFA, then yeah, you know what I mean. This kid never lets anything go, does he? <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> yeah. Constant jibber jabber. Um, so Kane <laughs> got to keep Lita. Yeah. yeah. No, not for not yeah. for a long time because obviously we know what happens in the future. But the, the well, page... I don't. I don't know what happens. I wasn't born. So yeah. super choke slam. Kane wins. Um, and uh, you know he got owned for most of the match. Um, uh, just so, after yeah. the match. Gone, gone yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and Take a Kane <laughs> has to. Uh, well, Kane has to. Lita has to marry Kane. Oh no. Yes, that's she, like def- she definitely. Just like every WWE wedding of all time, it goes perfectly well. There's no interference. Absolutely, it does that. No, and they're tied or not. Yes, no, no priests get tombstoned or anything like that. It's all normal. No, 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 no. no. Just like Linda McMahon. Just, just, just <laughs> normal. Just a normal wedding, normal wrestling wedding. <laughs> uh, and it was to take so place sensitive. approximately two weeks after this pay per view. Ah, um, Ooh, so okay. yes. So, it's a normal venue, not at an arena in front no, of thousands no, of people. No, no, a normal no. venue, normal venue, but normal, not, normal definitely priest. not in a wrestling ring. Definitely not. Um, <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely in a church. Definitely in a church, and obviously <laughs> yeah. the wedding bells. Obviously, yeah, can't forget the wedding bells. Uh, so yeah, we go. Um, we go into the back after this. Ooh. We've got Todd Grisham. Oh, interviewing. Oh, oh, I like this. Oh, We're Randy right. Orton. I hear voices in my head. Yes, he does. Yeah, he although, although, oh, yeah, yeah, it is burning lights hey. to start with. Well, although, hey, how does that go? Hey. Nothing, hey. You can t- nothing you can say. Hey. Hey. Nothing you can say. Nothing's going to change what you've done to me. <laughs> now it's, now it's time. time to shine. You're going to burn in my it's life. He's still in evolution at this point. Because it's a mystery. For a change um, that no one's oh, seen. Exactly. But yeah, Todd Grisham, Todd Grisham is interviewing Randy Orton. He tells everybody how great he is and all that kind of And he's very young. And well. he's very young. Very young. Remember um, that. That's yes, a key point. That is a key point. In how old is he? 24 or 3. Yes. <laughs> wow. 24 or 3. 24, 24 or 3. 23 and a half. If I say he didn't, I didn't think 24. record. Yeah, I do believe. Yeah, because it was yes. just, um, well, let's not spoil anything yeah, for later yeah, on. Yeah, 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 for later I'm on. I'm sure people will have, will have heard this um, or seen this pay per view anyway. And even if they have, oh, we're yeah. going to tell them all about it all over again. Absolutely. So, so I definitely watched it. 100%. John Cena. Yeah. Interrupts. Yeah, John oh. Cena interrupts the chain gang master himself. Word life. Word life. Yeah, Mr. 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 Word life. <laughs> Mr. Thugonomics. Um, uh, Interrupts Randy Orton. Um, so we've got two um, graduates of the same sort of NXT, and class. in the same Previous class, who else like was in that same class? Baptista, Baptista, Baptista lasers out of his arms, yeah. and uh, Brock Lesnar. Good, all, right. all in the same class. That is, I remind you what he's done in the. <laughs> I'm just talking about his uh, <laughs> development and success. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So John Cena yeah. interrupts and right, says, right. Yeah, I'll take it every time, and he finishes his case with you. <laughs> I think something like that. But it's really weird. In, in other words, mm. talking in this M&M mm. voice. Yeah. M&M yeah. voice. M&M Pretty voice. Much M&M. Yeah. I would say more... more um, That's more the only Martin M&M Mar- song I like. Genuinely, it's the only M&M song I like. Houdini. <laughs> Houdini. What? I, I like it. Houdini. Like it. Houdini. Yeah, I like it. I like the yeah. beat. It's good, good vibes. Randy Orton um, vows to leave the youngest ooh, ever a big world heavyweight I don't champion. think he does, because the man he's in the ring with, yes. bloody hell, he's got yes. some accomplishments. Oh, Lightning Lewis, what a deadly man. <laughs> 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 Again, follow uh, Aspire Wrestling Alliance on all social <laughs> media. <laughs> and Eddie Cross Wrestler. Sorry. Yeah, 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 don't, don't, don't listen to that last part. <laughs> um, so we move on now. It is, in fact, a John Cena match. Oh, yeah. Muzzy, Muzzy's about to uh, be cringes in <laughs> his pants. Cream <laughs> <laughs> all over I his do room. believe, uh, if I remember correctly, I think this was back when Cena was the United States champion, I do believe. It was just after he lost it. Oh, in fact, he didn't oh. Lose it. and he, he calls Cena himself fans. a John Cena oh. fan. Hey, was he doing oh, the open yeah, challenge? Yeah. Was, uh, was he wrestling? Sammy Zayn. <laughs> Sammy Zayn and Austin Theory and flipping Rusev. In a tank. Yeah, in, in a fact, tank. He didn't actually oh, lose it. He was stripped of it oh. by oh. Kurt Angle, who oh, was the uh, oh. Yeah, he was the, the general manager of SmackDown at the time. He was stripped of the title and Booker T is the current. Only because he had a broken freaking neck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, was, it, was a, it was a broken leg at this point. Just off a Neil Thorne. And the balcony. 
Yeah. Broken freaking oh, in, 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 in storyline. Oh, um, but uh, yeah, it is Cena versus Booker T. Booker. King Booker, yeah. Normal, no, normal no, Booker. Yeah, normal Booker. Was King Booker. What, oh, hell, you King, King Booker. Yeah, it was later, wasn't I wonder it, what the yeah. T stands for in Booker T. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, actually. Uh, T stands Book for... Token. Uh, Book token. Token. <laughs> <laughs> the T stands Book for... Ticket. Tenacious. There you go, Booker Ticket. Tenacious. Yeah, Booker Ticket. Yeah, Booker, 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 Booker Tenacious. Tenacious B. Tenacious B. Tenacious. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Bring back memories yeah, for you. Maybe he needs Tyrone. Book Tyrone. Book Tyrone. It sounds like an book advert Tyrone. on social media oh, for a wrestler, doesn't it? Yeah, we need to book Tyrone. Yo, Tyrone, what a wrestler. Um, so. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Booker T versus John Cena. It is the first John of eight. Five series, best of five. Which I said this earlier, oh. isn't it a bit strange having the, the first match at a pay per view like of one of the big fours? One yeah, big well, fours. I think what they did was um, plan to have the first match on a pay per view. Yeah, did the other, did three matches in between. Yeah, and, and then, then have the, the last next... one on the next match on pay per view. So it was spread out, but it was still pretty cool. I bet they're, they're, I bet five they're all five star. And what do you? Yeah, yeah. I was that. thinking about this earlier on the subject of this. What do you guys make of? Format out of the uh, brand exclusive pay per views because I know they bought it back like 2016, 2017. Here it worked, yeah, yeah, yeah back, back, it was... in, back in like back in the day it worked, but I think like 2016 it just it, I mean, they tried to think... make it work, but like it just yeah, didn't, I think right. they tried, yeah, yeah, I didn't agree with you there. Like it should have done. They, they try too hard to make it a thing when they just can't make it a thing, no, like the amount of no. draft, draftees, if that's a word, yeah. That they, they, they bring in. Over I mean, you look at guys and they've not been seen on TV since they've been drafted, yeah. which was in like April. Yeah. And so like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, look at what's it? Uh, what's his face? Odyssey Jones, if you know who that is from NXT. Oh, yeah. He's not appeared once on Raw. <laughs> you look at uh, what's his name? Yeah. Uh, Imperium. Bold one. Oh, yeah. Vinci. Yeah. Not like Vinci. Vinci. G- Giovanni. Giovanni Vinci. Like, Giovanni Vinci, yeah. He's not been seen. Um, yeah. And it's like, like, oh. like back in the day. Um, I, I think maybe, like you said, that the draft probably worked. Yeah. When yeah. where Cena switched on the same night. I feel, yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. like everything back in this time, 2004, it, it was, was suitable everything at the time. Planned it to had a meaning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I meant to say from 2000 to 2010, like, I'd probably say like 2010, maybe a little bit later, it worked. But obviously, when it came to about 2016, it just like... Uh, yeah, I just tried, don't think... Just try to reload the, the same, same Yeah. It anyway, had meaning to it here. Right? Um, so... Yeah. Um, so best of five series. Um, yeah. Again, another really, really good match. Another really good match. Sorry, there's football on in the background. I'm trying to listen. He's getting distracted while he's, um, uh, he's talking <laughs> about Summer Sun 2004. Is it a derby? So, piece? yeah. It would, and Muzzy will love this. It would be John Cena who picked up the win in the first. Oh, yes. Five series. And it's John Cena said himself. Um, um, it's not over yet. Yes. Yes. So I mean, it's this match yet, was by, yeah, until twenty twenty five. This book, this match was booked by a good friend, uh, Tilo. I mean, um, you're either going to be going one on one against the Undertaker, or having, in a tag team, having a tag <laughs> team match, or a best of five series yeah, player. Player. Um, That's and, an interesting thing. What Muzzy's just brought up about Cena, though. To be honest, yeah. like I mean, I've I've, uh, I've always uh, respected Cena. I've never been a big fan of. Cena for some reason yeah. I just don't know why yeah. I've always respected his work obviously though and mm. what he's given oh, to the yeah. business but yeah. I have said this 2025 they'll put a world title on him yeah I think, I, to be fair like it's, 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 it's a great McFerz yeah. record I think they'll they'll make yeah. it interesting mix it up with, with Cody and Orton and maybe Rock that would be a fun little thing and yeah, oh, I, think I, think Cena's Cena's uh, yeah I think they need to do that it's shown for a while <laughs> yeah I'm don't get me wrong, like when I when I heard that he, Cena was going to announce his retirement, and it honestly yeah. it broke me because I was like, like you know, he's the reason I I got into wrestling. So it's yeah. like, as as most of the audience <laughs> understand, the rest yeah. of the people on the podcast are fully grown men, so we do not cry over the fact when John Cena retires. <laughs> However, moving on to the Mate, next you're getting, yeah, you're getting a stutter, segment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so just, just, I can just imagine um, him crying into his. Mil. Crying, yeah, I was crying when I heard this. It's one nil. Yeah, man, 
Oh, Connor Frank, Warren. Oh, no. Oh, I forgot he played for them. Yeah, yeah he got, he's got from, a bit like, Beyond oh, the halfway line. That's oh. just some soccer updates um, for you guys. Yes. Um, soccer. Breaking news. Derby are losing. What a shocker. <laughs> and the former player. The former player. The former player who they sold. He's, he's still probably got Derby socks on. Of course he has. He's just scored against he just him. scored. Uh, Vinny DNA, you're black and white. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear! Right, moving on. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that that match would finish with a spinner Rooney because you know Booker T doing spinner Rooney. Spin Rooney. He was showing out too much, and John Cena hit him with an fu. It's a very silly thing to do. Just yes, decide to yeah. do a spinner Rooney. Just spinner Rooney in the middle of the ring. Why not? Just, yeah. yeah, honestly, yeah. It's like doing come on, guys, when you come out. Oh yeah, he's <laughs> asking him, yeah, right? <laughs> or shaking your belly when you go with the bone. Yeah. <laughs> All living out a big roar as you come out to scare people. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, guys. All right, guys. Right. Right, okay. Calm uh, it down. He's about to <laughs> flip the table. We're going into the back again. Oh, no, more back the more backstage. You didn't really get that action. very often anymore. No, another more backstage, backstage segment. So we've got both of the general managers. General manager of Raw. Who was the general manager of Raw? In 2004, I'm back. Eric Bischoff. Uh, Eric Bischoff. Yes, yes. Back. I knew that. Yeah. I knew that. Well, and, always got and the other right. guy had his pants on the ground. Pants on the ground. It was Tilo, my good friend Tilo. Tilo, you know him personally. Uh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Just like I know Ryan yeah. very well. Just like I know Virgil. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> how did that? How did that turn out? Really good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so they're was... having a bit of bants and saying, oh, yeah, SmackDown's better, no, Raw's better. And, oh, the, the, um, the classic stuff. And, and he was That's saying that he'd be happy My dad's to... bigger than your dad. Yeah, My yeah, brand's yeah. bigger than your brand. And he'd be happy... bigger than yours. I wasn't going to say that. I wasn't going to was gonna... was make it dirty, Connor, on the podcast, but... That's how you're going to... Uh, he was saying they would be happy to sign Eugene, because Eugene is, is Bischoff's... Eric Bischoff's kayfabe you know, nephew. You know who reminds me of Eugene? Was he? <laughs> that's a little bit harsh. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, well, I that's a little off. Copy people's moves. Copy paste. Shut up. Yes, they'd be happy to sign Eugene. So if, if, if Eric Bischoff kicked Eugene, off, I think uh, <laughs> <laughs> we've lost Connor. But I think uh, Muzzy's also got a, apart from every little help. <laughs> Apart from every little helps, they call him uh, lukewarm Steve Austin. Uh, <laughs> with hair. With hair. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> um, beer drinking. It's not like it. I do a stunner or anything, lads. Yeah. yeah. So we have to sign Eugene. Anyway, we move on to Diva Dodgeball. And then we move on to the next match. Diva Dodgeball. <laughs> we're not going to talk about Diva Dodgeball. I was too young. Diva Dodgeball. What the Diva Blinking dodgeball. They right, played with so, the melons on the chest. So they had a whole pay for you oh, yes. and all these all these really good no women's, women's match. wrestlers with they didn't have a match. That's crazy. They have Diva crazy. Dodgeball on with the women's Summer champ. Oh, with the women's so champ. Camp, Gen- Gen- yeah. Genuinely, yeah. genuinely, that is the most it, 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 I believe shocking Diva search it's the Diva versus search. actual Diva. Gen- genuinely, that is the most shocking thing and such of the time. But, and, as yeah. your top says, that's what probably what Wynn said to it. Yeah. Such good sh- and nice the Diva one. search. Hey, the contestants <laughs> included Maria, Michelle McCool, Michelle McCool. Oh. Gail Kim? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, Gail Kim was on. So the... though, isn't it? Like, to, I mean, it's it's really cool to see how far it's come. Like the, the oh, yeah, like yeah. that is. Joy Giovanni, who she wasn't on it for very long on main she shows, for very long, but she. Uh, now. Uh, 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 down. Down boy. Down boy. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, there's there's quite a few named uh, up and coming divas. And if you said the champ as well, that's that's pretty yeah, bad. Trish yeah. Stratus. That's pretty bad. Yeah, Trish Victoria. Stratus. Victoria Stratus. was on the other team. Yeah. Connor was there. Um, uh, oh, Molly. Yeah. Molly Holly. <laughs> Stop it, guys. Molly, I preferred, Molly. I preferred Molly Holly when she was Mighty Molly. Like Nikki, oh, yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. that time, yeah. Mighty Molly, Mighty Molly, um, Gail Kim. Um, I only remember Gail Kim for eliminating herself in that battle royal. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this shit, I'm out. No, not for Brown. Oh yeah, no. so yeah, Diva Dodgeball. We'll gloss <laughs> over that one. Uh, we're not gonna, not gonna have a. I don't know what noises. <laughs> I don't know what noises Muzzy just made. I don't know if that was. I reckon he's watching Diva Dodgeball. I think he's watching, he's watching, he's watching Diva Dodgeball. I think he's. <laughs> That's why he turned his camera I think off. we've just let him heard him let out a little scream um, for the fact that we're <laughs> skipping over it. Here he is. 
<laughs> I'm red I was, in the face. I was doing, He's got I was no doing trousers the, on. The voice. The <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, it's turning camera off. Oh, he's good. He's good. Oh, yeah. anyway. back again, boys. Hello. <laughs> oh, I preferred it when it was off, mate, to be honest. I mean, I don't have so, right. face, so it's fine. Triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship. Well, Baptista, Baptista. Give it to me. It Batista. 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 Versus Chris Jericho Break back in down. his Y2J days. Yep. And Just, Edge, who was Just, the current reigning defending I don't, I don't, babyface I don't know who, I don't know who baby that face head. Baby face head. Sorry, no Adam Cooper. I only know Adam, Adam, Adam Copeland. He wasn't the rated R superstar at this point. The Remember, rated, the rated. he did the live sex show on Raw oh, when he's rated good R. God. Good with God. Lita, oh, with Lita, wife. who's Kane's wife at this point. Rick Flair came out as well. No, no, came out. John Cena. Who Rick Flair came out and Cena came out as well? I've no, yeah, I've no idea. We need to watch that episode. No, we don't need to watch that episode. We do not need to watch that episode. Jesus Christ. Oh, you think about it now. Oh, my oh, goodness. Right. So, shit, Nick. Um, <laughs> yeah. Champ is getting booed here. It's bizarre, well. Oh, in his right. homeland. In his homeland. Wow. Wow. They were cheering for Batista. 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 Edge. Edge, he was a champ. Jeez, he was champ baby for face. Time, fair, at the start of the match, Batista did jump him and yeah. he started off with Jericho and Batista. Yeah, ah. so uh, yeah, uh, he gets wow. get canned out, doesn't he? Yeah, it's a bit mad though, um, isn't it? Champ and hometown hero getting the uh, the boo. Yeah, the so um, got trying to use the ropes here. Obviously, it's triple threat, no rules. No, no, there was a so mean looking chop goes. block. Oh, count yeah. from the back. Yeah, chop blocks. Uh, Batista get thrown out and Edge um, winning oh, put there uh, oh Edge Edge in the walls and Batista in Jericho out right okay yeah. that's Luke reading yeah. his, uh, <laughs> <laughs> reading his <laughs> that is my note that is my note it's the 19th uh, uh, I, know, I know it was a bit of back and forth like yeah. what, what Jericho could do to Batista yeah. Edge could do better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A bit of back and forth. Like in. Both of them being the Canadian, they both yeah. wanted to get the best. Of course. Yeah, trying to get. And then um, Batista just third wheeling. Yeah, being from wherever. But Batista's a. Can badass, I just say yeah, it was a very right. young-looking Batista as well. Yeah. Less tattoos, yeah. longer Batista's hair. Batista's badass. Wow. Right. Full on. Yeah. To be fair, Batista's part of that OVW class of 2002. Yeah. I'm about, I'm about to say because um, I watched the thing about Batista. Apparently, he like started wrestling in his 30s or something like that. Or some, yeah, like yeah DD, DDP did that as well. Wrestled at 33, we made it. I think, yeah, 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 it's quite yeah, a few, yeah, yeah. It's mad, including no, me, man. including Luke. I'm the next one, the next one, the rising star, bro. <laughs> apart, from, apart from Luke, he's not in his 30s, he is in the uh, I think, um, two generations, he's in the 20s. I he's think, in, he's um, in DDP actually debuted. Well, I think he made his date, but he wasn't champion until he was about 40. Mm. And he was, so, what was he? Did we see World Champ? Yeah. yeah. Jesus. So, uh, yeah. It just shows, eh? So, it's just a number. Yeah. Some. Uh, Anyone can do it. Uh, some submission moves and, and things education. like that. Uh, education. Education. Nice. Oh, we've got massive spine buster here Lovely. from Batista Lovely. with uh, near four after that. So nice. I am quite surprised that we're what, the fourth match in and no Spanish United table has broken yet. Whoa. I think at one point they were chanting for the Spanish in outs table, though. <laughs> so they were encouraging it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they know. Been... So they... Yeah. I mean, if any in outs table is going to go through, it's got to be the Spanish in outs yeah. table, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 100%. Well, they, they don't really break any now, do they, really? It's I think the, the ones on the... They would have yeah. broken through, like, probably, like, mostly main events. Yeah. About half a Yeah, time. definitely. Um, so, um... Jericho would hit a triangle drop kick on Batista. That's where he bounces off the turnbuckle and ah. drop kicks to the outside. Decent. Um, oh, yeah. 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 So, yeah. so he yeah. dies yeah. on the apron and he... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Triangle yeah. drop kick. I like that. I might start using that, actually. It's a cool move, actually. Yeah. 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 People it'd, don't be cool. use it'd be cool these. when I do it. Yeah. Yeah. People yeah. don't use these moves enough. Um, I agree. Yeah. So, Edge spears I... Jericho after that because he thinks you know, he's going to get uh, get the win after that. But uh, Edge spears Jericho and picks up the victory. Champion. Yeah, how was the reaction after? On this day, I think I they started cheering him actually after that. 
Weird. Yeah. Very weird. Yeah, yeah we what did it. Not did match, yeah, now we're cheering you. Uh, Bizarro Land. Bizarro Land. Yeah. Can I just say there was one match on the card where the fans started doing a Mexican wave? Ah. Yes. They must have I, been I believe that's the next match. Canadian Or wave, the right. one with the for the world title. It must have been insanely, insanely bored or just folk creative. Yeah, and I, I don't know what was up with them in this pay per view because it was a really good pay per view. Yeah. So I was invested. Solid in, yeah, I was invested in yeah. it all the way through. Um, yeah, all the way through. Oh. So, uh, yeah, moving on. Eddie Guerrero versus Kurt Angle rematch from WrestleMania oh, Twenty. I definitely need to watch both yeah. of those matches. Rematch. Have you not seen them? I've seen. I've only seen that one on the the showcase on the game. Oh my god! <laughs> that is how oh uneducated I am in these matches. Jesus but like I say, um, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, Muz. Right? You literally sat on a computer. You're not even here. Again, you're not making I mean, the chance. You're not. You're not. You're not, I'm not sat I, in I person. Mean, I'm, I'm not on a computer. I'm, on a computer. I'm sat with my phone. So, like looking, um, looking at the match. Yeah, game. I need to. I need to actually go and watch these matches. It'd probably be a good idea to get a bit of inspiration from uh, an Eddie that's certainly better than I will ever be. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Is, 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 is a question, is a question, actually. What was your favourite Eddie Guerrero match? Ooh. Oh, Oof. I think we might have to come back to that. Oh, that is a, a, a video, right. a video in right. yeah. its own right. We, we, can, yeah. we can do favourite matches in a different podcast, I reckon. We've got loads yeah, of content. I'll, I'll say that question. We've, we've got loads of ideas. Obviously, so, like Luke said earlier, the comments are always open. So if you guys have any ideas, any suggestions, that would be greatly appreciated. As daft as they may be. As daft right. as they may be. <laughs> we, it gives we'll us content them. to record. So. Um, that is true. So yeah. The the story here is that Kurt Angle's just come back from an injury. Wasn't you know? Eddie Guerrero also trying to sell some of Kurt Angle's stuff? Yes. And <laughs> Kurt Angle also tried to steal his low rider. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And anti theft device in, which was just a. I want to say a fire extinguisher. Thing. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they did loads of stuff on on this. Wow. It, it right. was a very good story. To yeah, go yeah. back and watch. And obviously, it's come over from WrestleMania 20, where the where Eddie Guerrero was the WWE champion at the time. Oh, and awesome. the story from that was that Eddie Guerrero loosened his boot as mm. Kurt Angle went for the ankle lock, and he slipped out, and that caused the victory. That's fun. I mean, stuff like that. It's, it's, it's but, so much uh, it was Eddie versus JBL, I believe, in a steel cage. Yeah. And Kurt Angle came and dressed up as his conquistador. Yeah, conquistador. And crushed him the title, I believe. Yeah, that sounds that about idea, right. though, the, the boot. Yeah. I mean, yeah. The, it's pretty clever, really. Yeah, it's it was quality, such a resourceful yeah. move. Like, yeah. Guerrero's yeah, stuff yeah. is just like. He was so in the ankle. He get it in the ankle lock, and so he's going to loosen the no, boot. No matter how, no matter how team. much like it can be replicated, no one will ever. Do no, that no, stuff like he absolutely, did. absolutely. Not. Especially, or, especially with like the chair spots, what Eddie does. Like, yeah, yeah. They, they do. They do try and replicate it here, mm. almost. Yeah, because it would be an ankle that. Could, I believe four. it was Kurt Angle's second match in what five months? Yeah, because mm-hmm. obviously he's coming back from a an injury. Yeah. Where and, and in storyline he'd been thrown off a balcony by Big Show. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was uh, acting general manager. Yeah. Acting general manager of SmackDown, that's who stripped Tina of the title and yeah. now he's going back in the and it's T Low now. Um, so yeah, all the way through, Kurt Angle's trying to go for the ankle lock. Smart, uh, very yeah. smart. It's his, it's his main move. He also had Luther good. Reigns. Yeah, he had Luther Reigns. Luther Reigns. Reigns. That Luther is the Reigns. name that I do know actually. With his massive earrings. The, the original yes. tribal chief. Yes. Nah. Dun, dun, dun. Um, <laughs> um, and and um, Angle actually unlaces Eddie Guerrero's boot. Ah, so and that is why I say on it's... commentary they were very baffled. Yes. And why is he unlacing his boot? Why is he unlacing? It? Well. Why is he doing so that he couldn't <laughs> couldn't kick the boot off? Yeah, because so he got foul. no boot. You know, straight ankle lock, isn't it? I'd if I was Plus sure, you lose I'd, locks. I'd, I'd yeah. beat him down a little bit. Yeah, get a bit of duct tape. You <laughs> <laughs> ain't getting out of that fast. <laughs> what would you, you, you do? Tape tape your arm to his ankle. Either that, that's a smart, that's smarter than my idea. Yeah, that or awkward way to your mouth. All right, all right, all right. Bite them toes. Bite them toes. No, but like you can take photos of the laces and stuff. They wouldn't stand a chance. Cling film it. 
<laughs> knowledge, boys. <laughs> I might have not watched this interview, but God damn, I know a lot about how to yeah. tie a man up. Um so Angle would come across as quite desperate in this match because he mm. need is the whole this part of the story one storyline was that he needed the victory. Uh, he needed yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, that validation of losing the at validation Mania. of yeah. losing at WrestleMania. Right. So um Clay came off quite desperate for the win, but um Eddie Guerrero would come back, he would manage to climb top rope, <laughs> even though he'd just been in ankle lock and he's had his yeah. ankle. Uh, beaten and battered superpowers of Eddie Guerrero climbs to the top it does hit the frog splash and does get a near fall near fall Um, splash yeah Uh, and the placement of ankle's feet uh, in the ankle lock is absolutely brilliant because this would be a little bit of a a playoff between the two as Eddie Guerrero tries to tries to kick out Angle would not let go of the Uh. ankle and eventually rolls over Grapevine's the leg. I love a grapevine in a, yeah. in a submission move. But I've got to do the grapevine. Tasty. Um, and uh, Eddie would succumb to the ankle lock. Wow. Here. Um, could, just could not get out of that. Uh, so revenge for ankle Kurt. Lock. Yeah. Revenge for Kurt. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, Darby has scored. I think Darby has scored. Darby has just scored in the preseason finally. And I think I think Arthur might be the only person in the history to celebrate a preseason goal. Um, <laughs> sorry, are we like picking up Barcelona? No, because pre- you <laughs> gave me no, no, a bit of context. You gave me you were giving me shit for Barcelona being crap, right? Shut up, Mush, you support Man United. <laughs> right? Listen here. What's the meeting Manchester? Manchester. Swiftly for the best league to football. No, so no, no, hang on, let me just the greatest um, team in the world let me just scored. Newcastle, Barcelona. <laughs> um, let me just air my, air my grievance with Connor here, right? <laughs> so, saying that my team are bad, right? They only two won, right? They beat the champions of England, right? So, you can't you can't send them. Right, they beat City yes. in the preseason. Yes. Well, wow. it was wow. two all, oh. and, and then they won in the penalties, 4 1. Penalties, penalties in, the pre-season. in the pre-season, man. Yeah. That doesn't even count. I mean, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you're you're so, yeah, so. so ah. Nah. Yeah, so, so they've gone past the point of... Calm, out, calm down, Tenog. They've gone past the point of caring about the games <laughs> and they've just calm say, down, oh yeah, let's do pointless penalties to even more solidified. Yeah, and someone might go and buy a beer or something. Yeah, literally. Charge yeah. Six quid. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> or if yeah. it's in America, $15. Anyway, yeah. onto a European classic right yeah, now. European we, classic. Um, so, yeah. yes. So, yeah. Eddie Guerrero would come yeah. to the ankle lock. Um, uh, like I say, love a, love a great line. Um, yeah, the ankle, yeah, working on the grapevine, uh, uh, grapevine. So, um, yeah, that is the end of the match. Eddie Guerrero, um, comes to the ankle lock, and Angle gets his retribution for that, that word, brings bad, bad memories. Let's not use retribution because I just think of that terrible, god awful stable. I like that stable. Why <laughs> you are the only man to like that stable. I like <laughs> the Eddie, 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 you, Eddie, I like the period where you were obsessed with Flapjack. Yes. Oh, those it's oh, slapjack. Slap jack. Jack. Slap jack. Can I just say, slap slapjack, jack. flapjack is one slap of the jack. most underrated professional wrestlers <laughs> of all time. Where is slapjack now? Wasn't that Tarjack? No, that was, that no, was, that was, was uh, Shane Thorne. Yeah, yeah, slap, slap oh, right, okay. Uh, yeah. Now a new gimmick has arose. No, arisen. Yeah, I mean, yeah. the whole the whole thing of that stable was <laughs> terrible. You can, you can like, combined with, combined with COVID wrestling, that was yeah. awful. What we've we got on next, Sam? The catch is catch can classic that is Eugene yeah. versus <laughs> <laughs> versus Triple H. Yeah, it's all about the game that they play. Oh, yeah, all Eugene about versus Triple H. Timer, timer for the Give next you... match. Oh, yeah, bit, oh, bit of backstory. I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah, bit of bit of backstory on this one. Oh, good God! So, um. <laughs> <laughs> 2004, Eugene has been waving his way towards the ring and, and towards um, a match up. with yeah, a match <laughs> with Triple H, H, where Triple H has been uh, manipulating Eugene, making him think he's his friend, giving him a Ric Flair robe. I oh. mean, come on, woo! Oh. I mean, that's yeah, that's an honor. Yeah, I mean, he's he's had matches where he's tagged with Ric Flair. 
during this run. Yeah. I mean, how cool is that? Yeah, it's because how cool it, is that? It's because it's like someone asked Eugene who was his favorite wrestler, and he said Triple H. Yes, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. it was just Rock and Stone Cold in the same yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, manipulating made him an honorary member of, of um Evolution. Evolution. And then oh, obviously that's... Triple H being the, the dastardly heel that he is, beat down Eugene. Oh, who made him bleed. Out, out and he beat up his And he beat up William Regal as well. Oh no. So uh yeah. Going well for Eugene. Got it, yeah, he got it, got it, he's gotta get that he's gotta get that uh, not retribution, something else. Retaliate. Revenge. No, Retaliation revenge. was the name of the member as well. <laughs> <laughs> Good God oh He's got to get that revenge for his mentor. Revenge the, good, the, yeah. the revenge tour is on. Oh, me a mock. He's got to get the revenge for Triple H beating up his mentor. Yes, I agree. The absolute legend that is William Regal. Yeah, I completely agree with Absolute that. legend. Yeah. No one ever said War Games as good as William Regal. War Games. I wasn't even thinking of just war games. I was thinking of him as a. I mean, the match with Goldberg was just. <laughs> yeah, it is taking yeah, time. Yeah. I love that because of the clean. Was, you watch that interview, and it's like, uh, unless, unless you're rich, you don't talk about this match. He was told like competitive six minute match. Yeah, and Regal was like, if if I'm told a competitive six minute match, you get in a competitive. Match. Yeah, and he tried to do everything. It was just like I couldn't teach him to to wrestle. Like, so. Um, but yeah, yes, still. the protege. Um, Eugene. He's, I mean, Bro. Triple H here in this match is playing the perfect villain. Yeah, he's picking on the vulnerable, per- the vulnerable wrestler. Can yeah. I just say, in this match, he also used Lillian Garcia as a shield. Yes, Eugene twice, twice. Wow. He also wow. pushed her to the floor. Yeah, once I think she actually genuinely got injured. Didn't she took she? a bump. Yeah, because oh, yeah, she was wearing high heels. She, oh, she ankle. Yeah. Went down. I know, I know all about rolling your ankles. Hey, Paul, yeah, 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 yeah. Connor knows. Connor well. knows he is quite the pussy when it comes to playing football. Oh, what is the divot in the ground? You take me to AD. Oh, I might miss the show. I might miss my booking. Oh. But then he's, he's miraculously healed the next day for training. So, hey, no. <laughs> you know. Sorry. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Connor, Connor's a superman when it comes to recovery. He's literally like the modern day Wolverine. <laughs> um, so, yeah, he plays the perfect villain here. Um, and uh, you know yeah. Triple H, um, it is quite he's quite taken aback with mm. with how Eugene wrestles in this yeah. match. Actually, it's because he does like a lot of bottom. Yeah, it yeah. does. Everything. Maybe the AA. We mm-hmm. don't know. Yeah. Even Nate <laughs> uh, try and help Triple H in this one, but gets he got hit out. off the apron yeah. as well. Oh, got man. hit off the apron, got kicked out. But then, to be fair, when Ric Flair was going back, William Regal came. Yeah, out. William Regal came out with the knocks. Ah, with the knocks. Did Jordan Lee special? Yeah. Yeah, knocked him out, knocked Flair out. Comes down to the ring, couldn't quite. Stay. He was telling Eugene to turn round, yeah. but he turned round into the couldn't third quite, attempt yeah. of a pedigree. Yeah. Couldn't and quite. Was it match. fully executed? Yes, it was yeah. fully executed this and, time. Uh, no, one, no one kicks out of the uh, the pedigree. Apart no from the Ultimate Warrior, not the third time. <laughs> no, no, no. We only hit it once. It was, it was attempted two times. Wasn't it? Yeah, it's before it, he counted it, it. it, he counted yeah. it into a slingshot. Well, slingshot. I um, and uh, I want to say a stunner. Did he, did he oh, no, I'll never forget the, the, the Ultimate Warrior Triple H thing. Yes. Hit the pedigree. Uh, uh, yeah, as well. Straight up. Straight up after the pedigree. <laughs> I liked that version of Triple H. I liked Hunter Hearst. Yeah, the Blue Warrior was yes. like, that would have done work for me, brother. Yeah. Well, Triple H was actually in a tag team with Louis Regal called the Blue Bloods. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it was it <laughs> Lord <laughs> Stephen Regal? Yes. Yeah. Where they had the big puffy shirts. And yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was great. Yeah. Um, and Stone Cold Steve Austin used to have long blonde hair. Stone Cold. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> when he was stunning Steve Austin. So, yeah, Triple H got the win. Yes. Um, with, the, with a pedigree. Yeah. <laughs> Trips gets the win. Um, Eugene's distracted by uh, William Regal coming out to try and make the save. What a shame. And turns into the pedigree and... Pedigree hit. So comes to the game. And, uh, yeah. The Duma continues on. The night. Uh... Um, so, what have we got now? Last two. Oh, Ooh, last two. The WWE title on the line. Oh. Next. Yeah. And it was The Undertaker Ooh. player. Dong. Yeah. Um, back when he came back, he came back in 2004 after being buried alive in oh. 2003. After a is this American Badass or no? This no, is this is the Dead Man Undertaker. The Dead Man Undertaker, yeah. 
yeah, back to Dead Man Undertaker. Slightly longer hair, but not quite long. Yeah. Um, still that wearing a big hat. You know, he yeah, looks like Lord okay. Farquaad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> His entrance is oh, so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, speaking of like the, the American badass, we all, we all wish we had an entrance for the Undertaker. American badass, Moz. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what year that he went from that to the uh, obviously the the gimmick that he stuck with for like quite a long time. I'm just trying to remember now because I remember he it would be about 2004. 2004. Huh. We got buried oh. as an American badass oh, in uh, Survivor Series 2003 by Kane. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, when yeah. he was going against Vince McMahon <laughs> for beating up Stephanie McMahon, because you know, returned to the Dead Man at WrestleMania that returned, year. Returned to the Dead Man at WrestleMania 20. Yeah, yeah, that oh, yeah, yeah. Back okay. yeah. And then he was back his to the Dead Man his um, oh. for the rest of his run, basically, wasn't oh. he? The guy who's married. Yeah, on, yeah, yeah. It's fair. Like, yeah, I would say Undertaker. Like, even when he came, when he came back as a dead man, like the fear that he he brought into people's eyes, like, and that, yeah. that moment, yeah, he's, like, wow, he's one of the best. He would go against yeah. the wrestling god, Baron Corbin, Jordan Lee. <laughs> Jordan Anyone, Lee. Any advances? <laughs> oh, for thought. Yes, <laughs> ah, John man, Bradshaw man. Layfield. Yeah, what a wrestler! What a wrestler! The the wrestling the god. So. Yeah, he arrives in his white limo with the chief oh. of staff, Orlando Jordan. Orlando Jordan. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I was going to say something funny about him, actually. Yeah. Go on, then. Go on, so, then. Ultimate Warrior, on the topic of Ultimate Warrior, I'm sure you've heard this story. When he had a match in Spain, I yeah, heard about Spain. this. He was a match in Spain. So, Orlando Jordan was the Spanish. current champion of the Spanish promotion. Right? This okay. is like late, late in... Warriors career like 2009 yeah like he was just on his last last tour I was going to say this, yeah. this indie show in Spain right Orlando matches. literally yeah Orlando Jordan's his champ right Ultimate Warriors like doesn't run for me pal doesn't beats work. Orlando Jordan wins the title yeah. and then gives it up doesn't give it back to Orlando Jordan but just vacates oh wow he yeah, just so wins it instead of putting Orlando Jordan over he like like decided, nah, no, that was about five years later. But yeah, like he, uh, he, uh, he did not want to um, be beaten by Orlando Jordan, so he decided to beat him and then relinquish the title of this Spanish promotion. Lovely. Yes. So I just, yeah. I was going to mention it, and then you brought up his name, and I was like, yeah, <laughs> right. perfect time. So, yeah, um, yeah Chief Match. Staff Orlando Jordan. No um, Bashams, though. No Bashams. No Bashams. Or Gillian Hall. Or Gillian oh. Hall with a massive. Growth on it, I hate that. And melons, and melons. <laughs> and watermelon, and a beautiful singing voice. Yes. Oh God. I know you want me. Sounds like that I'd boy. Be boy. I know you want me. Yeah. Where are you? Um, <laughs> so, champ here as as another dastardly heel that JBL is trying to cheat. Oh. Is he, of, course, of course he's trying to cheat. Trying to cheat his way through. To be Don't fair, take he did successfully through. use a chair. Yes. Oh. He did. Yeah. On the ankle of Taker. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. Uh, Taker not, not having any of it. Working on the arm. Going to go old school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Um, tried his uh, arms off the steps. Did everything he could to try and because uh, he, he used the um, Hell's Gate at this point as well, didn't he? It was a very like different style to Undertaker because yeah. he was like doing MMA moves. I'm like, what, yeah. what yeah. the bloody hell is going on yeah. here? The, wore the long black coat where he's got the uh, suit bones on as well, hasn't he? That's bad. He, yeah. he did do a lot of like ground and pound submissions. Yeah, yeah. He, he did change it up here. It was like watching <laughs> he Paddy, probably the knew on his, Paddy the Baddy. On his, uh, on his, on his, well, I say his last run. On his way like, out. He lasted, they lasted another 15, 20, 20, 20 years. years. Well, I'd say, yeah, so, I mean, striking ability was amazing, though. Yeah, I mean, uh, punches great, weren't they? Yeah, and they, oh, they, yeah. Probably, punches, yeah. they probably landed most of the time. Um, it? so JBL's <laughs> working on left knee, as you've yeah. alluded to as well. Um, and there's a kick out of a choke slam as well Ooh. here, which is you know, the the um commentators are like, they would never kicked out of a choke slam, I'm pretty sure they have. Yeah. No, is it yeah. an Undertaker choke slam? No <laughs> yeah, one's ever kicked out an Undertaker they also choke alluded to that no one's ever kicked out the crow's line from hell twice. Yes, yes, because that was hit twice. What a yeah. move! Close line from hell. Yeah, and it's mad line. because like you look at 
the um, that people can put behind the clothesline. And it's a wonder yeah. that it's not really used much as a finisher anymore. Um, but the referee, referee Jesus takes the ref um. Oh. Oh, and then Jordan Traffic on the field, a dead ref. Yeah. <laughs> oh, with the arm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> take a shoe kicks out like it's believable. Yeah. <laughs> well, how does that happen? How does an unresponsive ref still have authority? <laughs> no the commentary was like, this, this is still works. It's still legal. It still <laughs> counts. Yeah, it's where the stripes, man. It was, it was, ta- it was Taz back in the day. Anything counted for yeah, Taz. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, also said that he had a match with Undertaker and he's like, I don't know how he beat me. By them rules, if the referee got taken out in a football match, you could pick up the whistle and get yeah, give yeah. yourself a fan could run on, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like Lino, make yeah. your own rules. Um, yeah, so um, there was also a kick out from Chokes line from the close line from hell, of course. Twice, uh, twice. And like I say the referee went down, uh, near fall from the last ride in the corner. The JBL's on top here. JBL had his ass out. I had to yeah. rewind it because I saw him kick out. I yeah, to rewind it. You wanted to see it. I saw him. Of course, Connor wants to see his bomb, honestly. It's um, very white. It wasn't the tender rest of him. Yeah, the ref wakes up. <laughs> Oh, what a miracle. Miracle. Just miracle. in time for Taker to hit him yeah. in the head with yeah. the belt. Yeah, just in time for Taker to hit, yeah. JBL yeah, with the belt. Hit JBL with the belt. Oh. And after all that, DQ it's a DQ oh finish. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> this is BS. <laughs> this is a DQ this is BS. That's like, how can you? Oh, how can you but it does get better after. It does, match yeah. Attack. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, because there is an after-match attack. Ooh. He's been given the option to press triangle. I go, for the, <laughs> I go for the attack afterwards. Um, you got a triangle, you get a cutscene, brother. Yeah. So Undertaker <laughs> goes after JBL. Ooh. Okay. So oh. he, he gets JBL, he bashes him on, on the stairs. JBL gets cut open. Oh. Uh, yeah. Takes him over to the limo. So I think it was a suplex. No, it was a slam, wasn't it? A slam onto he, the he power bonnet. slammed him onto yeah. the bonnet. Power slam onto the bonnet. Broke the, the limo. Broke Real glass. glass. Real glass. Yeah. Your primary river. But it's, it's not that, finished. It's, 10 pound limo. It's, it's not. It's the man himself, Muzzy says. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Yeah, that is true. That's true. Climb. Well, no, to be fair, they start playing on taking music and it, it looks like he's done. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's oh. walking takes out. takes a shot yeah. down. He's, he's done. He's walking out. He's walking out. So, yeah, then all this. It does that back turn. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks I'm back. not finished with I'm you. Not, not finished with you. Yeah. Smack been... on the stairs. Slam on the bonnet of the car. And what do you think happened next? Uh, I know. What I think I Eugene, Eugene came back out and said, <laughs> <laughs> "I watched flood, flood this, flood this ship." Yeah, it's not going out like uh, this. So yeah, Eugene comes back out. Um, no, he doesn't. Um, so cl- I actually <laughs> watched the paper. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Undertaker climbs onto the limo roof and blew it up. And turns into Jeff Hardy. And turns into Jeff Hardy. He does Shape it. Man one time. Oh my uh, god! He does a four fifty. 450 off the limo, <laughs> choke slams oh, whilst he's wow. doing whilst he's doing the 450 and a spinner rooney and a spinner oh. rooney. Um, <laughs> he so choke warm. slams and then his dark guns can't see me. Maybe I'll through the roof of the limo. Wow, <laughs> yeah, he's really good. You couldn't tell it was paper before. No, no there was no, no sag no. or anything. No, nah. and he gets out of the car. He? he gets out of the back of the yeah. car where he, where he choke slams him. So yeah. it was really well done. I know after the match, the post match like footage of JBL being stretched away. Yes. And of course, uh, Orlando Jordan, chief of staff, doing his job like he should, grabs the title and puts it on JBL's chest so he can hold it whilst he's going to the local medical, medical facility. facility. Yeah. While he's unconscious and doesn't know what day it is. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> still a chair, what brother. day is it? It's Tuesday. So JBL, still WWE champion. Nice. Boo. <laughs> it was actually a really good match. It was a great match up to the uh, DQ finish, the, but obviously that finish. that set up for the uh, yeah. As long as we got a, a choke slam, and yeah, because uh, yeah. they don't but, do any of this stuff anymore, or do they? Not really. No. Not really. I, mean, I can't remember. No. I saw a limo. Not no. Lot, really. no. I, can, I can remember the last time I saw a car being smashed up, and I was bottled out of the tearing Jeff Hardy's car. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Or oh, it's your way through the door, and it almost hit the crowd. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I about to say he absolutely destroys the crowd he just, he just launches it out of the crowd and the crowd's like oh shit but luckily like he didn't yeah. like 
hit them. Oh, we just oh, tried to apologise. Oh, I said an awesome. You're going to get monetised, mate. You, 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 you oh, you're not getting paid now, but I'm not going to get monetised. You can't be saying that stuff, mate. You're, uh, uh, I, I mean, sugar, sugar, I mean sugar, sugar honey on an iced tea. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. You can't tell me off. And sugar honey on an iced tea. Especially when you're not even here. You can't be swearing, mate. I mean, you can't see me, so technically, you know. Oh, John Cena. Oh, Cena. Anyway, um, yeah, so, anyway, moving on to the main event. Um, yeah, it is now the yeah. last match, the main event of the evening. Hang on. I... Oh. 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 It is my dad uh, versus, versus his massive <laughs> cup of tea. Oh. And it's <laughs> huge. <laughs> and a custard cream biscuit, honestly. And a custard cream yeah, biscuit. Brought, a whole pack of custard cream biscuits. A whole pack of custard cream biscuits. It's just shaking a table by and putting the mug on it as well. <laughs> no, he has actually got biscuits. <laughs> Four they biscuits. Are, they are, <laughs> they are <laughs> dark chocolate digestive. Oh my God, he's got a chair. How small are they now? <laughs> that is <laughs> ridiculous. You're they a sexy are, man, Arthur. They are so small. They used to be massive back in the day. <laughs> so, Wait, um, yeah, so, um, yeah. last match. The main event of the evening is a match from Raw, and it is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Big Goldie. And a prelude to who he Whatever you want, whatever. <laughs> I'll come back again. <laughs> <laughs> and Connor singing um, uh, the song in style of club music. <laughs> yeah, my favorite wrestler. Yeah, his favorite wrestler, Lightning Chris Benoit, Brooks. defending <laughs> the championship against Randy Orton. <laughs> Oh. No, he's not giant haystack. <laughs> easy, 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 easy. easy. Oh, what a good guy! <laughs> as, as you alluded to earlier, though, Randy Orton looking to become the youngest yes. world champ. Yeah. Youngest yeah. world champ story of all uh, time. We, we already know that Chris Benoit doesn't like young things. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh God. he hits and he swings oh. on his own run. Oh my! Carry on. <laughs> it is supposed to be serious. It is serious. That was incredible. Will you be comment. serious? Um, be serious, pal. Um, so yeah, Randy Orton trying to become the first, the first ever, the youngest ever world heavyweight champion in the history of history of all the times of all the times he against Chris Benoit, current champion. Uh, who won the championship in a triple threat match against Triple H and Shawn Michaels at And he also defended it at Backlash to... Yes, in a triple threat match, yes. Against the same people. Oh. Against the same people. Oh, which is a very good triple threat. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yeah, banger, yeah. banger. I can't remember the last banger, time. Banger, banger. Yeah. A banger after banger. Banger, banger after banger. Banger, banger. After banger. After banger. After banger. Um, after banger. So the match starts with a test, uh, test of strength. I love a good oh, test of strength. Test of strength. I always oh, win against Connor. Yeah, or as... As um, JR would call it, a Greco Roman knuckle lock. He's got a Greco Roman knuckle lock. Oh, he's got a weird attitude. And all the time, the king is just referring to the divas. Yeah, the whole face of you. I know, Melon. Obviously, Jerry King Marnie, he loves his divas. He loves his divas. As he called him, yeah. Just like Muzzy when he was five years old, he can't get enough of the divas. Just like I mean, who, I mean, the pretty girls are digging in. Ain't nothing wrong with the watermelons, I'll tell you that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it starts with the test of strength. Well. Randy Orton trying to get the uh, sharpshooter on Chris Benoit. Wow. Oh. Oh. Down here, aren't they? Yeah, which is uh, Missouri, Missouri native. Yes, Randy Missouri Orton. native in Toronto. Um, and of course, Chris Benoit is Canadian. Um, he's nothing for them anymore. Well, he's Edmonton, isn't he? Yeah, Chris. Oh, oh. I thought it was Vancouver. Was. I thought it was Edmonton. Old Canadian. I will Google it. They just just I'm Canada. Talking. We'll just call it Canada. It's all one. It's all one big city. Um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, trying to get on to the sharpshooter, uh, Randy Orton on Chris Benoit, which is one of Chris Benoit's moves. Um, tribute to 
Bret Hart, best there is, best there was, best there ever will be. I don't know. Yeet. <laughs> There's better out there. Yeah, I, think, I think it's probably... <laughs> Colin's opinion is coming out now. Ideas for future episodes, well, I think Eugene was better than Bret Hart. Well, it was. He did the five moves of steel. Um, and this goes from a sharpshooter to a crossface attempt. Ooh, oh, we can't say that. Oh, crossface count. Uh, it's just crossface. Uh, if, you, if you use the other word, cripple, it's fine. It's fine. Because we do know someone who trains us all who uses the same move. Kind of Lewis. It's a malicious the crossface. So, the next episode. Here's the malicious <laughs> They will be now. <laughs> So my dad's joined us. It is half time in the uh, triumphant Arthur's, Derby County. Arthur's tonight. bored, so he's uh, drinking his coffee. Drinking it's his triumphant. Co- oh, drinking right. his coffee and eating I'll his oh, extra yeah. small digestive biscuits, which I'm what, what, disgusted the, uh, by the score? size of now. It's 1-1, one, one, I believe. Yes. One, and that is irrelevant. Because it we're is. Back because anyway, this anyway, this has been released on 15th of August. It was being released on 15th of August. This. Coincides with the 20th anniversary of Vaping. Oh, we're, we're living in the future. Yes, we are living in the future. Amazing. How amazing. Hello, hello, technology. Hello, my future self. In three weeks. In two weeks. <laughs> three weeks, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, Orton breaks out, breaks it with a shove into the post. So, they managed to roll out of the ring and shove oh, shove down one into the post. That's rather nasty. Uh, on the side. Apron DDT. Uh, come back. Ooh, yeah, from real. Benoit, there's lots of slugfesting on the on the apron of the ring. As the commentator alluded to, and as we all know, it is the hardest part of the ring. It's always the hardest part. Of the ring. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and if it's uh, certain, not the rest from, of it, you know, no, it's full of metal and certain promotions don't even really have an apron to the ring because you can't really step on the side of the ring before climbing in. Um, <laughs> that is United Wrestling, by the way. I think it's just me and my tw- size twelve feet. I was going to say I've got I've got size thirteen feet as a uh, as a young boy and um, I don't find it an issue. I think you're just uh, complaining a bit too much, Alex. No, because it's because I don't spend a lot of time on the apron. You've got no one on fighting with my girlfriend. Oh gosh! Right, moving okay, on. Okay, moving on. Um, so you're there is a dive and a miss. That so this is a big turning point in the match. What's that? Uh, Chris Benoit trying to use the suicide dive or tope suicide. Is this the suicide. one where he slices his back open? Or that no, 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 no. This this one, Orton sidesteps him as he's flying oh through God. the ropes and he goes yeah. face first. Does, it, does it bring Bella? Ooh. Yeah, face yeah, first into the barricade. Um, oh, that deadly barricade. This is probably the first part of, of a lot of problems they had coming up. Um, but let's you know, talk about the wrestling side of this. Yeah. Benoit was actually a really good wrestler. Uh, he to be in the Hall of Fame. In his yeah. wrestling ability. I'm not quite sure about that. But wrestling ability-wise, yeah, absolutely really good. Um, but yeah, it will never be mentioned. Yeah, <laughs> I'm surprised it's still half the yeah, yeah. on the network, to be honest. Um, so yeah, diving headbutt. And, uh, you know, after several, it got several German suplexes in here to Randy Orton from oh. uh, Chris Benoit as well. Um Relentless, in fact, really hard hitting uh, German suplexes. Um, yeah, and uh, Orton would um, use this to his advantage because he'd go for one more and he'd spin out and into a RKO out of nowhere. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Out of nowhere. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so a bit of, bit of RKO. RKO out of nowhere, and that is it. Oh. That is it. And, and, the, and the crowd goes crazy because yes. Randy Orton is the youngest world champion of all the time. Yeah. And it's almost the new. like they had all of the confetti ready. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Not like you can see a bit <laughs> dripping down during yeah. the show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and what would have happened if he didn't win? He didn't. Confetti would have just been left up there. Just stayed up there. For the next hockey match. <laughs> yeah. No, it would have <laughs> <laughs> Mid- midway midway through a hockey game at the next time he used a stadium and it's just was this the yeah. only title that changed hands on the pay per view? It was, wasn't it? I believe so, yeah. Because yeah. the tag titles were uh, <laughs> the in, raw tag titles. Yeah, tag uh, um, tag titles the cruiserweight title was cruiserweight was in the same match. In the same Intercontinental didn't change. Intercontinental US didn't change. Didn't change. US, US, didn't change US didn't change because, didn't change. because it was the best of five. WWE didn't change for the DQ. So yeah, this is the only title that changed hands. Wow. 
and you don't get that anymore, do you? The youngest ever world still the youngest champion. today. I think so. I Mr. believe. Man. I think of of uh, probably in mainstream wrestling anyway, probably the youngest ever because yeah. the next after that probably BMJF and he was twenty five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, WWE yeah. Orton's probably still Paige Page was a young champ though. Yeah, oh, fair, women's, yeah. Women's champ, fair. yeah, 18. Yeah. That's mad. Yeah, that is mad. Uh, Younger we than we all me. know that story from fighting with my family. Great yes. movie. Someone was saying the other week that they'd not watched that movie, and I was very disappointed in them. Yes, I very, think it was a, a very, very good movie. Very enjoyable. Um, watched it in the summer, and then so yeah, after the celebration, or rather during the celebration, uh, Chris Benoit would come back to the ring and demand that Randy Orton shake his hand. Uh, which he did. Hmm. So, oh, fair enough, yeah. yeah. Show of, of sportsmanship there from Randy Orton and Chris <coughs> Um Then he would leave him to his uh, celebration because they still had quite a bit of time left. And so, a lot of confetti uh, to release. A lot of, con- <laughs> to a lot of corners to display his title. Yeah. Like. I, th- I think he'd get, uh, get all the pictures. To answer yeah. your question, yeah. Randy Orton is still the youngest WWE champion. How old? 23 or 24? 24. 24. 24. Yeah. I think, like you said about the format, though, you don't, you do not really get that anymore because if you look at the last five years, mm-hmm. Roman's title has obviously been firmly strapped to his shoulders. And look at the format now. Apart from the big, the big four, yeah. it's five matches of pay per view. Yeah. So they'll yeah. they'll have the tag titles haven't been defended mm-hmm. since Mania now, yeah. which they used to be on every show. I see title gets defended. I see gets defended. US every now and again. US is kind of Rare. dropped, to be honest. Yeah. Um, even with the world titles, it's very and few. And then you've got the between. women's tag titles that are just there. They, yeah. they get, they're yeah. probably the most regular, regularly changed titles, I'd yeah. say. Yeah. Um, um, so, yeah, that is the end of the pay-per-view. Really good pay-per-view, I'd suggest. And even though, even though uh, it's weird to say this, but even though I haven't watched it, I still feel thoroughly kind of Confused. informed. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Thoroughly informed <laughs> as to what happened and we'll look forward to... Probably, yeah. We'll look I forward say, to I think like out. once you... I think like once you watch it, I think like you, you're like... You can tell like some some of the difference like back then to like how WWE is is now. A big difference. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> as, uh, as Arthur is uh, <laughs> confused, by confused, the, and, and by obviously the forgetting, the and obviously forgetting that we are still live on this uh, this podcast episode. <laughs> with his, uh, the and it's live. They call him the they call him the double dunker because he uh, gets two dunks out of his dark chocolate digestive. <laughs> And he's an attractive man. And he's, yeah, he, he, ain't, he ain't half bad. He likes a curry a on a Saturday bet. night. Yep, every oh, night. A very, very just special guest. Plenty of topic. peppers. Plenty of peppers. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, so really good pay per view. Yeah. Definitely one to watch. I'm definitely going to check definitely this out. one of the better ones in 2004. Um, oh, yeah, 100%. Uh, really, really good. And we move on to Unforgiven 2004. Ooh. That is on the Ooh. 12th of September. Nice. So oh, anniversary one. Is that a SmackDown yes. one or a Raw? That is, I'll tell you. Is one of them do the Raw. I think it's a Raw one. Do, do it naked. Oh, wow. Yes, okay. It is a Raw brand pay per view. It's a naked exclusive pay per view, ladies and gentlemen. do it Raw naked. This is why we don't have Arthur for the full hour. This is why we don't have Arthur for the full hour. Yeah, PG's come on. 13 now, so uh, yeah. Arthur, Arthur comes on after the uh, the, the watershed. Swear word and a nice, uh, lovely reference. The watershed's of... not even started yet. We are pre, <laughs> we are pre watershed by eight minutes. <laughs> oh my god, judging by when you watch this and listen to this, the uh, the 15th of August, then yep. that yes. might change. But yeah, yes, solid, be. even though I've not seen it. Yeah, solid, the, solid the papers, sound yeah. of that and yeah. the uh, excitement levels for that pay per view seemed very uh. Entertaining, yes, yeah, it was, yeah. uh, and it was Bizarro Land. And incidentally, Bizarro. on Raw the next night, obviously, Randy Orton would have his championship celebration, of course, with the leftover and, confetti, yeah, with the leftover confetti. The one that maybe they sweeped it up after the, after put, the yeah, show, put it back up there yeah. and yeah. put it back up. Um, it was the thumbs up, thumbs down moment oh, for evolution, oh, yeah. familiar evolution is a mystery, yes. Um, so I like there would be a Championship rematch between Chris Benoit and Randy Orton on the Raw show. Oh, the night after. Yeah, the night after. Oh, because they used his, to do that, didn't they? Yes. Exercised yeah. his rematch clause. And um, 
<laughs> can I just can I just point this out? And I'm sorry, we're past the watershed, but I've got to I've got to state the utter bullshit that's just happened in front of my eyes, right? So Arthur's just come out. He stood next to me, right? No, no, no. I have to for this, right? Arthur's just come out, bless him, and he's yeah. got his two mini rolls that are left. He, he, he's, he's eating the the other three. And he's just come up to Connor here and said, would you like a mini roll? He didn't even say anything. He just looked at him in a very sensual way and said, you know, would you like a mini roll? Connor's just, like said, just whispered, I'm watching my figure. <laughs> now, I'm sure the viewers could agree. Have you ever heard such bullshit in all your life? I don't think I have. Thank you very much. He's just... Oh, it's just jealous. Uh, it's, so, yeah, I'm gonna have to release this it's, later. Uh, I don't know what time it is. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's 55 minutes past 55 yeah. minutes past. So we've got we've got five minutes to, to fill, to fill yeah. And we're just um, gonna talk about Arthur's stunning physique yeah. and uh, his mini roll addiction, yeah. So, Unforgiven is next pay per view yeah. on the 12th of September. Uh, like I say, in the raw after this show. It was a thumbs down, thumbs up, I thumbs just, down. I moment. was just going to say, yeah, because obviously the automatic. So that, would that be yeah. with Triple H versus Triple Randy. H, Randy Orton? Because nice. uh, it was it. Because didn't he, he have it for like a month and yes. he dropped it, didn't he? Yeah. 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 Sorry. Because yeah. Triple H is like, this is mine. Yeah. This is mine. This is mine. And it was his and he won it. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. like, yeah. like yeah. A, a, a jealous Triple H moment. Yeah. Yes. To, to follow yeah. up from Connor, like you don't get. Sorry, we're keeping you awake here, Connor. <laughs> we're not even at the watershed. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so, so you don't really get many automatic championship rematches. For some no. reason, it's very weird like that now. You don't get that automatic. Because I remember, even up to a couple of years ago, you get the automatic rematch yeah. the night after a pay per view. It'd yeah. be really good. Yeah, you yeah. can exercise your rematch. But, but now, you don't really get it. Now, you don't really get it. It's kind of yeah. a one and done. And there was also, back in the day, there was a 30 day defense. Oh well. yeah. Yes, and they don't do that so anymore. They don't do that and anymore I, either. That, I they saw didn't that defend at, the title um, in thirty days. Yeah, I remember that because they did that with Naomi, mm. and she she could have easily kept hold of it. Yeah. And they've done it with Wheeler Yuta recently in AW. Mm. Had the the Ring of Honor was it pure title? Yeah. So and he had it for three months yeah. and didn't defend it. Yeah, okay. and, and then they stripped it. Yeah. And then and then Open. obviously Roman Reigns like just picks when he chooses to show up and defends the title. Like probably I think, every four months. No one understands how missed Roman is right now. Yes. Like, I'm, I'm happy. Talk, I'm, I'm, me included. Now, me included. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong. Like, yeah. Like, to be fair, like, like I think some people are like, I'm, I'm glad that you don't have the title anymore. But then I, I come to realise that, yeah. Yeah. You've taken kind of, for granted. We do, I mean, we do need Roman. We do need Roman. I'm not going to lie. You can't yeah, have you can't... a superhero without a supervillain. Exactly. That's yeah. the perfect way of someone up in. I love Cody's title run so far. I think it's okay. Like it's, it's okay, it's some, but I think it could have been a bit decent better, steam behind it. But I think it's one of them things when you knew it was going to happen, and now it's like, what do we do now? Mm. And it's I like, think Roman I've, having about yeah. four years kind of solidified that, like you say, you need that super villain. Yes, you do for everyone to try and beat. For every Superman, you need like a super. Yes, it's like yeah, like, like, like a bat, uh, Batman, Batman is a Joker and all that, you know. Batman I mean? Joker, yeah, Spider um, Man Green Goblin, so, yeah, absolutely, and and you need that. Uh, and that's the same in wrestling. It's the same in Aspire as well. We've yeah, got, yeah. you know, we've got the superheroes, we've got the supervillains. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Incidentally, yeah. we're at Comic. We are at a second Comic Con coming Comic-Con. up on the 11th of August. But we won't. Yeah. We won't. Well, that, well, that, that'll be before, before this. Before. But it's yeah. worth saying it. Anyway. Oh, of course it will. Yeah, it's ah. worth saying. Well, anyway. if you want to, 17. If you want to, so people. Yeah, if you want to follow Aspire Wrestling Alliance, of course, <laughs> on Facebook and all the of the socials, because you're on, we're on all of them, aren't we? Yes. The yeah. TikTok, the Instagram, the TikTok, the Facebook. The TikTok not, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. We're on YouTube, YouTube. as well. That's important yeah. to note, yeah. So yeah, uh, obviously yeah. keep following up. We've got loads of shows coming up, August, September, October. And some really November, exciting December. things happening with the uh, Oh, yeah. Videos. And yes. also... We're really, so we're really hitting the ground running with all the social yeah, media. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And, and also, um, just to add in this, we are halfway through into a summer tour at the moment. Yes. We're in, yes. We're in a tour. Yeah. Quite good, though, isn't it? Well, more dates, more dates are being added. More dates. Yeah, more dates been added. It was supposed to be a quiet August, and now we've got more entertainment. Summer sixteen, I think, is uh, is the final. Yeah. Is the last uh, round. Semi-finals. Yeah, last uh, finals. Uh, summer semi-finals. So we've got the the summer yeah. qualifier sixteen coming to a head on the yeah well, seventeen. Got... Some next matches, yeah. and then yeah, man. Um, good matches. Main... Yeah. Main match, main and match. then you got the beautiful main event of Eden versus Mayhem. Absolutely, on August seventeenth. Yeah, that's going to be a banger. Wow. 
Yeah, we've I'm got John Lee versus to, Robin uh, Gray. We've got Muzzy versus Razor Johnston. We've got Lewis versus Sweeney, and I think that's I think that's everyone. To be fair, I just no, we've got um, what's we call <laughs> it? Rich Robinson versus Nate Blade, or yeah, yeah. Ooh, crossfire. Yeah. 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 Merch, uh, as, as I mentioned earlier, yeah, yeah, mentioned that. Shut up, Muzzy. I'm trying to plug my merch. As I mentioned earlier, um, Crossfire! Merchandise is available from the. Uh, I'm going to have to mark this as the, having an advert in it. Aren't the, uh, I? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. I'll take Are you it tired of boring? No, it's paid uh, advertisement. You pay me. So, uh, yeah. merchandise. Merchandise, <laughs> merchandise will be available from the uh, merchandise table, of course, because why Ooh. wouldn't it be? Uh, Ooh, you can buy merchandise. Oh, Different types of shut up, you can buy all the Mother Cross will be selling it. Mother Cross, Cross, Mother Cross, Cross will be, be uh, Mother Cross will be my uh, volunteer slash non paid worker. <laughs> um, <laughs> blogging my merchandise at a very fair price, um, which is advertised on my social media or account. Forty nine ninety five, and for you, there's a discount. <laughs> a of absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'll even be kind and sign it for you. So. Yeah, make wow. sure to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but seriously, yeah, wow. if you guys could get behind Aspire, it's, it's yeah, yeah, it'd be really great. And we've got the GoFundMe as well. Oh, yeah. I'm sure Luke will oh, post. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've got to go yeah, yeah. Trying to, trying to get kind of that, get that the, up. We're, we're getting close. We're doing the best that we can. Come on, let's keep um, it going. We need to get let's behind keep it. Keep it going. So, Come on, guys. Keep do your thing. Going. Yeah. Come on, guys. Do your thing. Um, right, so that is the end of the pay-per-view. So, pay-per-view, pay-per-view podcast. Yeah, there we go. For this one. For August, oh, some slam at two thousand four, well. and uh, just want to say thank you to my best friend. Oh, oh, best friend. Best friend. What, we've done, what we've done there? Can I just put this into perspective? The, what we've recorded is an hour and a half. Yes, the summer slam pre-show is three hours. Uh, three hours. Saturday. So we've only done. We only yeah. covered half the show. Half the show for a, a six to eight match card. Yeah. We are. Oh doing my well. god. We are doing well. You can call yeah. me Corey yeah. Graves. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I'd like to thank Connor. Bye, Muzzy. Take care, guys. Peace. He's a bit slow. And, <laughs> and Eddie Cross. Woof, woof. Cheers, Cheers, guys. It's um, been an honour. And from me, um, your host, Luke, you're the Cheap Shot Nation. <laughs> and we'll see you next time for more quick reviews. Not quick reviews. These are not quick reviews. These are, that, an hour and a half is quick. That is my movie channel quick shot reviews. <laughs> quick shot reviews because <laughs> they are quick. The These are an hour quick. and a half. That um, was sex yeah. <laughs> I'm out, now airing the last 15 minutes. <laughs> He's just high five himself because I'm not <laughs> high fiving him. For that comment. <laughs> yeah, so this is Cheap Shot Entertainment and these are retro reviews. So we're moving on through 2004 and we'll continue to do so. And there might be some other podcasts in between. Ooh, yeah, they will. Yeah, you can yeah. arrange those. Oh. Yeah, we'll be happy. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching and all listening. Goodbye. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. Take care. Sure. Yeah. Sure.